Yul Edochi advises Nollywood practitioners. Nigerian actor Yul Edochi has opened up about the level of decline the Nigerian movie industry is currently facing. Taking to his Twitter page, he wrote, and I'm quoting, The quality of our home videos has dropped so much. Now, there are lots of crappy actors or actresses, crappy directors, and we can't continue like this. To all seasoned Nollywood practitioners, please, let's revive it. People love our content all over the world. We just need to step up the quality. Now, what do you think about this, guys? Harry K, I thought Nollywood was getting better. So why do you think he's making this kind of statement? Well, I, I just think that you know how it is when you're on the inside, because you're the one doing stuff, you're constantly pushing yourself to do better. Mm -hmm. But then on the outside, it doesn't seem that way. So for someone who is on the inside, it might not seem that way to them. And in all honesty, yes, we know we, we're, getting, we're getting there. So the thing is, I... In my own understanding, they said there's new cinema, they said there's Nollywood. <laughs> so with the new cinema, um, yeah, they are doing really well. But like home videos, as he said, mm -hmm. ah, it gets a CBO. Mm. Because there are some of them that you just stumble on on TV, or maybe you go to certain places and you just see them. Sometimes I'm like, what is this? Mm -hmm. um, not to, but it's Honestly like that. Speaking, They're all as right about that. And then there are some Nollywood movies yeah. that, in all honesty, it's just the struggle to get there. But I don't even well, know we can if do it's better. an Asaba thing. I think, as you said, I said two, generally, yeah. there are two but, types of Nollywood, mm -hmm. parts of the Nollywood where they are doing the good stuff, they are having mm -hmm. cinema films and, and all, all of that, that, and they are breaking into the budget, mm -hmm. styling, everything. everything, equipment is looking all great and fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's another side that just wants to work on a budget and wants to get everything done yeah. with minimum amounts, wants to shoot four or five films mm -hmm. in like one week. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the reality of things. So I feel like there's some truth in what he's saying but what was surprising mm -hmm. is that I checked his Instagram page and I mm -hmm. saw over 900 comments people agreeing with him I was like yeah. oh I thought it was balanced it seems like yeah. it's even more bad than good exactly and that, you know when I say that you know not everybody we don't not everybody has the access to that streaming platform or yes, you know the, yes. the access to go to the cinema and all that stuff now it's it's in our faces because we're home hmm. so what are you watching home videos hmm. and some of them are shown on TV, like normal um, uh, cable TV. So you're watching and you're like, where is this thing going to? <laughs> like, there was a movie I recently watched and I was just like, my IQ dropped. Hey. Because I'm thinking, wait, I watched this kind of film as a child when I was probably 10 or 8 years. Mm -hmm. And we're still doing this exact same thing. Same storyline, same, same, it just, was just weak. And I was like, what is this? Wow. You know, that's, that's the thing. So yes, call. we're growing, but then I think that we need to do better. You know, guess what those? Lastly, too, before we end up the story, he actually has a platform to train actors and actresses that he now actually posted out, I believe, yesterday or today. What do you think mm -hmm. about that? Okay, providing so a solution. Providing solution. Uh, it gets us a bit. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Maybe that was a PR move, but okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, let's just move on from that story. <laughs>